Hey you guys, hey you guys, welcome to Nathan's vlog. Well, I'm at my brother's place, this is my brother's dog mine. Well, he's biting me because I was recording for the last 30 minutes and he apparently doesn't really enjoy staying in my lap for that long, but it's okay because he will still stay here. Ow! Ow! Well, he will come back. So as you can see, we are in a Christmas mood. We made a Christmas tree-ish. We decided not to set a real Christmas tree this year because we go to our parents' places for Christmas and it would be pretty pointless to set a tree for just one evening. But this is what we got and I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think, guys? <coughs> As you can see, I'm a bit sick. I got a terrible cold two days ago because in Barcelona it was pretty warm and then I came here and I went ice skating and did a lot of things and now I'm coughing all the time and yesterday I even had a fever so I stayed in the bed for the whole day but I think I'm getting better and by the time it's Christmas Eve I will be more or less perfectly fine but until that I'm living on medications and Netflix I hope you've seen my Christmas medley if not just click on this link and today's vlog will be about my last week because I came to visit my friends and family and I did so many things in the evenings and during the last week and then I just thought I can share it with you guys. First of all when I landed I was supposed to be picked up by my mom who was too busy or forgot about it. I don't know but she didn't come so I had to go on my own. So yeah, I came for Christmas. I came for two weeks, actually. I cannot really reach my mom who promised to pick me up. Yeah, I haven't been picked up. I've been forgotten, so I have to take the bus and it's so crowded and I cannot sit. And now I have to take two metros and then I will have to take another train that takes me to my hometown. So I'm basically traveling the whole day. Anyways, I managed to get back to my hometown, but the next day was more exciting because I had a photo shoot. I want to make my own songs and I want to make my website, so I needed some professional pictures. Luckily, I have amazing friends. One of them is a photographer, another one is a stylist, and I also found someone who did my makeup. So I went to a professional photo shoot in a studio. I had so much fun, it was like me being a real model, I was like doing funny poses and always like looking into the camera so it was a bit more natural. -ish. The same night I went to a concert with my friend and it was really cool except the fact that I didn't know anything about the band and I didn't know any of their songs really. I lit this candle three times and it always stops burning. The next day I went to another town with some of my friends. We are supposed to have an amazing Christmas market. And it turns out that the Christmas market is really amazing. It was really nice. But otherwise the city was pretty boring. So we decided to go to an escape room. If you don't know what's an escape room, it's a room where they lock you in and you have 60 minutes to follow clues and solve puzzles and escape, basically. And we did it. If you don't know me, guys, I'm very competitive. So if other people say that, oh, it's just a game, you, should, you only have to enjoy it, you shouldn't worry about winning or losing. Well, not with me, okay? I need to win, I can't lose, I get really frustrated if I lose, I never lose, I'm very into winning in these kind of games and my friends knew that so they were really trying their best so we escaped on time and we did, so good job guys. I think we had about 6 or 7 minutes before we ran out of time so I'm really proud of my team. 
But at this point I still haven't met my mother and I thought maybe we should go ice skating together mostly because I love ice skating. Apparently my mom and my brother were not that excited about the idea but I managed to convince them. However, on the day of ice skating I just got a phone call from my mom and she told me like Oh, I'm sorry but I left my head at home, we can't go ice skating. Luckily, I'm always looking for solutions, so I went to the nearest clothes shop and just bought a very basic hat for her and we surprised her at her office with my brother and she was really excited like Oh, it's so nice that you guys came here, I was not expecting you here but too bad I don't have my hat so we can't go ice skating and then I was like, no problem, I bought you one I don't think she was that thrilled as I was but we finally went there however the challenges were not over yet because the line was so long I think we would never got into the ice cream if we were stayed in that line and my mom said oh, no way we shouldn't wait here but again I'm looking for solutions so I found that I can buy the tickets online therefore I did that on the spot and then we got our tickets after two minutes and then we could just pass by the line and we were on the ice rink 20 minutes after. We had an amazing time and by the end both my mom and my brother agreed that it was a great idea. Just so you know guys, I'm an amazing ice skater. When I was a kid my dad and my brothers were playing ice hockey in my hometown's team. I never played but I still spent all my winters at the ice rink and you know I was just going circles in the opposite direction in which I was supposed to just to confuse the people and sometimes make them fall <coughs> anyways I think I got the call there with my mom and my brother because after that for two days I couldn't really leave my bed I was living on medications but now I think I'm getting strong again which is really good because Christmas is tomorrow. I hope you also spend your holidays with your beloved ones and I wish you a very very Merry Christmas. I don't say I wish you a Happy New Year yet because I plan to post another video next week about my New Year's tradition but until that see you guys and enjoy your holidays. Bye. I will make a list and send it to the North Pole for sending. I won't even